This is called the prisoner's dilemma. Imagine you're standing in a freezing interrogation room. The police have arrested you and your partner for a major crime. So they separate you. You two are completely alone. You can't text, you can't talk, and the detective slams a deal on the table. You have two choices, stay silent or betray your friend. This is the math of your life. Scenario one, you both stay silent. Police have no evidence, so each of you get just one year on a minor charge. Yippee. But here's a risk. If you stay silent and your partner betrays you, they walk free and you get 10 years. Not good. Scenario three, you betray and they stay silent. You walk free, zero years, and you leave them to rot 10 years in prison. Now stop and remove your emotions. Think like a cold, rational machine. Look at the board. If your partner stays silent, you have to betray them to get zero years instead of one. And if your partner betrays you, you still must betray them to get five years instead of 10. No matter what they do, your best move, your only rational move is to betray them. But here's a trap. Your partner is running the exact same math. They are rational too. So they betray you and you both choose the smart move and you both get five years when you could have had one. This is the Nash equilibrium. It's why countries start nuclear arms races and why companies start price wars. We're trapped by our own rationality.